We all know how much United in a dream world needed to do this week. And it seems like it started. We've got updates on Alex Tellez, on Chris Smalling, on Andreas Pereira, Diogo Dalot, Jaden Sancho. A ton to talk about in this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Make sure you drop a like on the video as well. But in a week where United really needed to do some movement, it looks like it's beginning. And in terms of incomings, it's Alex Tellez who United are close to at the moment. As you can see here, Howard Nurse and Simon Stone, both from the BBC, both reporting that United are pushing forward with a deal for him. But Simon Stone there saying that United do not feel £18 million is realistic for a player who can sign a pre-contract in January. But everything here is pointing to a deal being close. It's just down to that final fee, and I suppose we've said that before, so famous last words. But Porto know they cannot lose Tellez for a free. They cannot afford to lose, anyway, in the summer. So we will have to leave at some point, I think, this summer. So that is why United are playing hardball with the negotiations. But at the same time, Porto, according to reports out in Portugal, covered on the peoplesperson.com, make sure you check that out. They're going to lose 25% of the fee, up to 25%, including 10% to Galatasaray for Tellez when he leaves. So that's why they're pushing for a little bit more, maybe, than what he is actually worth. And that is why the negotiations are stalling. But for me, I understand that United have to haggle and have to get the best price on players. But we're looking at a few million here for Tellez. Just a simple thing for me to say, but just pay it, United. It's, it's, it's small change in comparison to the improvement that he would make to our team and in your ability to actually then go and negotiate for Jaden Sancho, which is a much harder deal to complete. So United, just get it over the line, but it really does look like we will get it over the line. Famous last words, as I said, I've got egg on my face over Sergio Regulon, but no one saw that coming. And I can't see anything here apart from Tellez joining United. It's just that final fee I don't quite know about. But there's lots more to talk about because it's been a busy start to this week. And before I get into the updates on Sancho, on Smalling, on Delot, loads, I want to thank OneFootball for sponsoring this video and sponsoring some of the content here in the transfer window. If you don't already have the OneFootball app, what, where have you been? There is a link in the description. You download it. It's free to download. All the OneFootball news is on there. All the latest United news, all the latest United match stats, all the latest everything is on there and it's free. So all you've got to do is follow the link in the description. Make sure you download that. And with a mad week coming up and a mad transfer deadline day probably coming up, OneFootball is a great place to catch all of that. But let's talk about Jaden Sancho now. In terms of the Sancho deal, nothing really has changed. Apart from that, it's not really changed, but United really are briefing to all those reporters around the club. You know, your James Robsons, your Mark Ogdens, your James Duckers, the people that you know are going to be fed information from United. All of those journalists, not all, not all of them are actually speaking out about it at the moment, but all the noise from that area is that United really are pushing ahead and a bid is expected this week. Now, you've got the Telegraph saying that United are looking after, uh, looking out, sorry, not looking after, maybe we all when you sign him, looking out for Saar from Watford. Now, he is a good player and I tweeted about it saying, oh, look, it's United panicking and then a few people had a go at me. Saar is a player that if we do or did want him, we should have been looking a lot earlier. Apparently, we've been scouting him plenty even before he joined Watford, but that's probably just hot air. Sancho has been our number one target and I spoke to Fabrizio Romano earlier this window and he's saying that United don't really go after multiple targets at once. They go after their top target and they go after him. So Sancho, whereas Saar, clearly if he's an alternative, we should have been accelerating that deal or at least the talks for it a bit earlier. But that's what United do in this transfer window. That's what United do in transfer windows. They do it late and they do it slow. But one thing I am dead happy about is there seems to be some real movement this week when it comes to players leaving. Starting with Andreas Pereira, Fabrizio Romano has given it the here we go. He is joining Lazio on a loan deal with an obligation to buy, not an obligation, an option to buy 27 million euros. Don't think they'll pay that much for Pereira, but he's gonna be leaving with United paying less than half of his wages and Lazio covering the majority. Great news. Pereira is not a player who clearly has a future at United. He's had plenty of opportunities under Solskjaer and just hasn't cut it. And we've got players like Bruno Fernandes, Paul Pogba and Donny van der Beek in now. So Pereira can be moved on and he is getting moved on. He's going to Lazio. Tick, that's another player leaving the club that we don't need at the club. Chris Smalling, 
Roma are coming back in for Smalling. Roma wants Smalling. Smalling wants Roma. This transfer will be done. I don't know why it's taken, to, I know why it's taken so long because Roma haven't come up with a fee that United feel is a fair price for Smalling. But of all the players who are going to be leaving this summer, Smalling is the one I think that can actually really go on to be a very good player elsewhere, straight away. As I said before, a bit like Johnny Evans when he left United. Smalling will go to Roma, that, that will get done. I'll be so, so surprised if that doesn't get done. And then Diogo Dalot, maybe to AC Milan. He seems like Serie A clubs, just like hoovering up the players that United don't want. Keep doing it, please. But Diogo Dalot leaving, it would not be a surprise, especially when, we, when or if we get Tellez in and we get move Brandon Williams to right back. There's no place there for Dalot. He gave us that penalty against PSG. Thank you very much, Diogo. But in reality, his injuries really thwarted him from having the proper opportunity at United. And unfortunately for him, wan has really established himself and we've got Brandon Williams who's broken through. So Delot's time has passed by. And if he leaves, Smalling leaves, Romero maybe as well. Phil Jones doesn't look like he's going to leave before January. Pereira leaving, that's some good activity. But I don't, why has it taken so damn long to happen? I don't know. It's the thing you could say about United all summer long. But really, really is a case of better late than never to see Pereira leaving, Smalling leaving, maybe Delot leaving. Maybe Romero leaving, that's four out the door. Tellez coming in, that's one through the door to follow Van der Beek and maybe Sancho, but let's be honest, I said it in my last video, my gut is telling me that Sancho won't happen. But if Sancho doesn't happen, could it be someone like Saar? Could it be someone who actually can offer some real quality? Because regardless of whether we sign Sancho or not, we need a right winger. We desperately need a right winger. And you've got Leeds sniffing around Dan James, he's not gonna go anywhere, certainly if we don't get another right winger. but. We all hope it's Sancho. We all hope Tellez is going to be done. My gut tells me Tellez will be done. It's all over. The thing I found interesting there was, was that report in the People's Person. 25% of the fee Porto are going to lose. So that's why they're hardballing. That makes perfect sense. 18 million still seems like a hell of a cheap price for a 27-year-old Champions League established fullback. I don't care if he's going to be free in the summer because he might be free in the summer. But at that point, you're going to get PSG and Juventus sniffing around him. Whereas right now, United have a free run at Tellers and clearly we need free runs at players that we want to sign but that's a big update for you on lots of players Tellers, Sancho, Pereira, Smalling, Romero, none there, Delot. Drop a like on the video, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV, there's clearly going to be plenty more updates in what is set to be a mega transfer week for United, fingers crossed with three or four leaving and a couple of players signing. Come on Sancho.